hello everyone i hope you guys are doing great you guys are welcome back to my channel thank you for all your support i really appreciate you all um in today's class i'm going to teach us how to cut a free kimono dress yeah a free sorry a short kimono dress it's very simple just follow it i'm folding these two inches uh for the aiming at the down part so now i want to get my actual measurement that's after folding the aiming part at the down side so the length is 37 inches the length is 37 inches you know the back is going to be higher than the front with two inches meanwhile the fabric i folded is just make sure the what you're folding is up to your hip measurement plus two inches so in allowance so now you slant the shoulder 1.5 inch don't forget this is the full length so 1.5 inch to slant the shoulder So you slant, slant the back part too. So just fold it on each other with half inch. That is that half inch is going to be the joining allowance. So that means after joining, this is the way it's going to look like. So now you take your shoulder measurement divided by two plus half inch plus half inch. So from that point, you take seven inches for your arm all measurement. That's for your arm all. So immediately after the arm all line, you take your bust measurement divided by four. That is 42 inches divided by four plus whatever allowance you want to have, either two, 1.5 or three. So this is the hip line from shoulder 24 inches it can be 25 it can be 26 at times depend on the length so this is the waistline round waist measurement divided by four plus two inches then hip measurement divided by four Plus two inches so whatever you have there just mark it at the down part whatever you have here just mark it at the down part then you connect the measurement together so curve the arm hole So now you cut it out. So basically, this is it. So now we are going to cut out the neckline. So I'm having a um, four inches here. That is four inches. So this waist part, measure one inch, measure one inch, then one inch or two. So you are going to cut the front part because it's going to have opening at the front. And it's going to have this overall color. So that is the neckline, the front neckline. Let's measure that one inch. Then you connect to the four inches you measured at the neck part. So this is the front part. So now I'm cutting the back neck. Just as easy as this. 
just curve so that for him to measure if it's too sharp you just make it straight that's that about the back neck so now you are going to cut sleeve and then that overall color for it so now this is the sleeve the wideness <coughs> i'm using 14 inches your own can be bigger depending so this is the sleeve length 22 inches your own can be longer too so it's not constant so just get the five inches for the ammo cuff and you cuff to that five inches like this then measure the ammo circumference measurement which is um 9.5 18 so you mark you can decide to notch then you had uh one inch allowance or 1.5 so just cut it up to this edge here so all you need to do now is just m the round sleeve then you join the sleeve with uh, the allowance you had it one inch if you like you can curve it if you like you can leave it straight so now you are going to fix uh, that overall color there you are going to measure all through to know the length you're looking for so I think here I'm having um, 44 inches that is on food is going to be 88 so this is it just 2.5 inches wide then the length is 44 on fold so just notch the mid part if you like you can use a different fabric entirely maybe a plain one so that it will come out very well Another thing you can also do if you wish is um you can gum it with paper stay if you want it a little bit thicker. If you want it a little bit thicker. So after joining the shoulder of the dress, all you need to do is just get the mid, the center part of the neck. You notch it, then you place this one too, then you sew it round. So this is it. The joining is not the problem it's very easy just join the shoulder fix this uh overall color then the sleeve it's as simple as that then the sleeve you can see how simple and beautiful it is so if you like you can also make a bet on it if you want to have a bet you can do that you don't want it to have a bet then you forget about it so this is just three inches this is just three inches wide then the length is uh it doesn't have a fixed length so you can just decide to make it as long as you want it so just join this into two turn it i believe one now to make bet so this is the belt after turning this is the belt after turning so this is what it's going to look like and um, use your belt and your kimono short dress is ready please don't forget to share and subscribe See you guys next time. Would have loved to rock it. Why can't?